I'm 33 years old, unemployed, live with my mom, and I'm quite happy. I don't know if it's necessarily a good thing that I'm happy, I'll get to that later, but I've already made two videos on this topic in previous years saying I'm an old infant. So let me give you some backstory. A huge chunk of my 20s was plagued by my bipolar type 1. I was diagnosed when I was 21. The manic episodes have been absolutely devastating each time as I've had multiple episodes. And after graduating university from electrical engineering, I was in depression post mania for at least two years. As I was getting my shit together four years later, getting a job, moving out, I had another severe manic episode which lasted over half a year because I went off my medication for over a year and depression followed again for years. That's when COVID hit and then I made this video a year later in 2021. When you're 25, you can be an idiot. It's no problem. Even when you're out in a job search, it's like, well, you don't have any experience and you're kind of clueless. It's yeah, yeah, you're young, you know, it's no problem. We can, that's what young people are like, but they're full of potential. Okay, well now you're the same person at 30. It's like people aren't so thrilled about you at that point. It's like, what the hell have you been doing for the last 10 years? Well, I'm just as clueless as I was when I was 22. It's yeah, but you're not 22. You're an old infant, right? And that's an ugly thing, an old infant. An old infant. It's an ugly thing. Well, back then when I was watching that video, I was about 27, 28 years old. And uh, now I am 30, turning 31 soon in a couple months. So I am that old infant. Yeah, I'm in a rut, but it doesn't feel like a rut. It feels like I'm living the life. It feels like I'm living a heavenly life. So <laughs> I think that's the sad part, not the part that I'm an old infant, the part that I'm an old f infant and I'm fine with it right now. That's the sad part. So a couple years later after my manic episode, I was recovering from depression, but at the same time I had no motivation. I didn't want to get my shit together. And then two years later in 2023, which is last year, I slowly started getting my mojo back and I posted this. I'm 32 years old, live with my mom and don't have a job. I'm an old infant, as Jordan Peterson says. I've already made a video saying, I'm an old infant and that's an ugly thing. But that's not the worst part. The worst part is I'm actually comfortable the way I am and I don't want to change at this point. That was two years ago in 2021. One thing has changed since then. I want to change. I got my motivation back. Don't get me wrong, I still slack off and spend hours in front of the TV, but now, more often than not, I feel bad about it if I'm not productive. Since then, I've been uploading on YouTube regularly. I even had a streak of 178 days of daily uploads, even during my vacation to Germany to see a YouTuber friend. And with one viral hit, I got monetized and that video alone earned me $66. Super exciting now that I'm earning money through YouTube, through monetization, although I still haven't gotten my first paycheck from YouTube because it has to reach at least $100 by the end of the month. And how much are you earning these days, Paul, you might be asking? Well, I'm doing vlog live streams every day and on average, I'm earning about 20 cents a day or more, which is pennies really, 20 pennies a day. But as my friend Chase said, Money is money. How cool is it that I'm earning at least 20 cents a day on YouTube? And not only that, but on buymeacoffee.com, Califlower supported me with a five Canadian dollar one-time tip, and Mario became a monthly $5 supporter, so my dream of making a living as a YouTuber is slowly coming true. God, that feels good. It feels like I'm on the right track. It's been a year and a half of posting on YouTube to get to this point, and it felt like a long road to get here to the point of actually making some money. Having said that, let me show you how I've been slacking off. Remember I said at the beginning of the video, I don't know if it's necessarily a good thing that I'm happy. I heard that if you want to make massive progress, you need to be unsatisfied with your life, that you need to feel disgusted with yourself. With that strong feeling comes the motivation for massive change. You will only build success if you are dissatisfied with where you currently are. Well, I have slipped into that comfortable feeling again. Here's what happens when I don't set an upload schedule for myself. I have a daily checklist here, a habit tracker. I 
said next video, daily live stream vlog, reading, and 8,000 steps a day. And as you can see, working on my next video, I work on a few days in a row, and then I took a couple days off, and a few days in a row, and then weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday, Tuesday. I slacked off Monday, Tuesday as well. And so it's been a four day break and today I checked off because I'm working on this video right now. I have spurts of creativity where I've worked for multiple days in a row and then I have periods of rest that drags on for longer than two days if I don't keep myself in check. And in fact, the reason I'm making this video is because my friend Chase, because of you, I came up with this video idea and I'm getting it done in one day. Chase, you told me to post five days a week. And you know what? I'm gonna give it a shot. From today, I'm going to post every weekday. My quality will suffer as a result, just like when I used to daily upload, and my view count will probably take a hit compared to my higher effort, higher quality videos, but I wanna give this a try. How long am I gonna do this for? Who knows? But let's see how long I can keep this up. As a side note, I used to post my pets as a montage at the end of my dailies, but I stopped with my latest videos because I was trying to hold on to viewer retention until the very end. It would drop when my pets came out, but now I'm not going to give a fuck about that. I want to see my pets at the end of my videos. Some people that I know like seeing them at the end of my videos, so I'm going to put them in even if a lot of people click off at that point. So I'll see you tomorrow. 1% better every day, baby. Tigger just bit muffin.